Cinema 5D at NAB 2016 is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. Tilta, arm your camera. Artlist, inspiring music for your films. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And Atomos. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. I'm here uh, with Tim Siddons from Blackmagic Design. Uh, we just saw their press conference and they announced a bunch of new nice products. Um, so Tim, thanks for having us. Not at all, Not always a pleasure. What's new from Blackmagic Design this year? Well, we have a, we have a host of new products um, for all of our customers. Um, a combination of products depending upon what it is or uh, product you might be using. We have some products designed for our camera users and operators, we have products designed for post-production and we have some fantastic new products for live production as well, um, some of which are designed to work together. So I guess um, I will give you a quick overview now and, uh, and give you some of the highlight packages if we can. Sure. Should we start with your 7-inch recorder? Sure, okay. So as part of the, uh, the overall plan for NAB, we wanted to put together a, a series of uh, upgrades and things for our camera users, particularly with the Ursa. And one of those is the new 7-inch video assist monitor. Uh, this particular monitor is a 4K monitor um, and video recorder. And it's, it's a great little upgrade from the traditional video assist that we launched last year, which was a HD-only version. Um, first of all, it's larger. It's a 7-inch touch screen. And as you can see from the side of it, it has uh, an upgrade in terms of connections to give you uh, professional quality audio connections, so that's XLR audio uh, or mini XLR audio input. We've designed it to try and uh, give anybody using a camera the opportunity to bypass not just the video recording and codec on that camera, but also the audio. And a lot of the cameras that you go out there and pick up, especially like the DSLRs, you want to bypass the video codec, uh, you want to bypass the bitrate, and you want to go and put it into a professional video recorder, but also you want to do the same with the audio. So this has an extremely low noise, uh, low noise floor XLR Mini, but it also has full-size BNCs, which makes it very, very quick and easy to plug into uh, any camera because the cables are easily accessible. It also has HDMI in and HDMI out and an SDI loop through as well. From a recording point of view, on the other side, it has two SD card slots. Now these are high-speed UHS-2 SD uh, slots. Now you can use them using the high-speed cards for 4K recording, or you could use uh, normal speed cards for high-definition level recording and it will record that into either a ProRes or a DNX HD file. So it gives you fantastic quality um, monitoring. It's a seven inch um, high definition screen. It has a touch screen control. It gives you a lot of the, um, um, the controls that you'd like to have within a camera. For example, your histograms, your VU meters, um, a peaking and focus and you get that control within this as a monitor. So if your camera doesn't offer those kinds of features, this is a fantastic way of adding and upgrading your DSLR or similar camera and starting to take it into the world of being a professional video camera. Uh, what about powering? Power is on the side, it's a 12 volt power input if you're using an external power pack. And then on the rear, it uses two of the Canon spec batteries. So you can run these uh, simultaneously or if you do have uh, batteries on the back. So that's the, sorry, that's the LPE6 or? Uh, I think it's the LPE6. But remember. the one from the 5D basically? Yes, it's the same one, it's the LPE6. Um, you can run it off battery power, um, or if you wanted to run it using a 12 volt power input, maybe from a, a V-Lock battery or another power source, then you can do that. If you do have 12 volt power coming in, it also charges the batteries on the back. So it means you've also got some redundancy there in case you need to change your power. But it doesn't use the power simultaneously, so basically I could hot swap batteries? Yes, so. yes you can, yes. yes, yes. Um, tell me about the flavors of ProRes and DNX HD that it records in. So this is going to be a 4K um, or HD recorder. So it will be the standardized versions of ProRes um, and DNX HD for either 4K or ProRes. On ProRes, you'll still get all of the flavors of ProRes. So you'll still get your LT, you'll still get your HQ, you'll still get your XQ. So you'll get those options here on this. And so you get all the flavors of ProRes and also you get DNX HD. Yeah, probably not the 4444, I guess, right? No, no yeah. not on this now. That's too big, yeah. Um, okay, so what else have we not covered? Um, in terms of functionality, does it support LUTs? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. It's, it's obviously it's a question that we think we're going to get encounter a lot at the show. Um, part of the reason for that is because we've added LUT support into some of our other products, um, including things like the Ursa. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of question about whether or not this can, can, can support LUTs. At the moment, we don't know, but obviously it's something I think a lot of people will want to know, and, and that's something we're thinking and looking at. Okay, cool. What is the brightness of the display? 
in what means and what what, like what in, and is knit, it it, it, in knit. In, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Uh, is this full HD? Yes. Okay, so it's 1920 by. It's 1920 1080, and the screen is a 19 by 20 by 1080 screen. Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool. Um, I think we have this sufficiently covered. Um, yeah, the only thing that you need to know, Nina, is that um, is that this is shipping right now, so it's in stock in the global offices. Um, so if anybody needs one, they can have one this week. What's surprising? And price is eight hundred and ninety-five dollars. Nice. Okay. Cool. Thank you.